Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us so early in the morning. We promise we're going to be worth it. Our team is OC Exterior Solutions. I'm Emiliano De La Rosa. I'm the team leader, and I'm currently a business senior studying entrepreneurship and finance. I've been responsible for the project management, the data analysis, and the business strategy of this business plan. Good morning. My name is Edgar. I am a business entrepreneur based out of Southern California. I am currently responsible for the business operations and the rebranding of 949 Pressure Wash into OC Exterior Solutions in 2025. Our team includes two additional team members, Cesar Munguia, he's a certified life and career coach, serving as an advisor, providing us with business guidance and support. Another member is Contigo Transportation. This is a family business connection through myself. This family owned business will provide an initial non-dilutive loan for OC Exterior Solutions. Exterior service companies like 949 Pressure Wash combine service throughout the year to maintain business sales. Since starting operations in 2022, we noticed a huge customer problem in the pressure washing and property lighting service. When completing jobs, we, serviced over, we surveyed over 200 customers and they often expressed frustration about local competitors, service pricing and packages. To reach more residential and commercial customers in the pressure washing and property lighting, 949 Pressure Wash will be rebranded into OC Exterior Solutions in 2025. Seeing this opportunity with, with, uh, with where competitors fell short, I redesigned my pricing and packages with new software and operating procedures. Residential and commercial clients feel deceived by pressure washing and lighting companies offering service packages with fluctuating pricing and limited customization for property needs. Competitors create this customer problem by fluctuating service pricing throughout the year and having low service, service customization throughout inferior pricing systems. Customers oft, unfortunately lose confidence in providers and are not satisfied with the quality of work leading to searching for new com, com, companies. When requesting, when requesting exterior services like pressure washing or property lighting, customers need a provider who is reliable partner throughout the year, offering year-round customizable service options to meet their property needs. Our business model saves customers up to 15% with custom service packages by reducing fluctuations in pricing and offering highly customizable services with pressure washing and property lighting. 949 Pressure Wash utilizes a custom pricing software that provides instant quotes, stable pricing, and custom packages to customers. With custom service packages offered through advanced pricing software, customers can confidently receive an instant quote by customizing their service package that is priced automatically with unique rules and conditions. With OC Exterior Solutions, residential and commercial customers can trust a year-round partner with accurate pricing and high quality service. Looking at our local competition matrix, we have three competitors here, Dirt Shock Services, Capistrano Pressure Washing, and Property Cleaning Experts, compared to 949 Pressure Wash, which will eventually be OC Exterior Solutions. We're using three characteristics to look at this matrix, our instant quotes, stable pricing, and customization. We can see that none of the competitors actually offer instant quotes. This is due to the fact that they are uh, giving quotes to their customers through emails or phone, and that could usually take some time in between, unlike OC Exterior's pricing model, which is able to provide immediate online quotes to customers. As for stable pricing, most of these customers have low stability in pricing uh, due to the fact that their packages don't have uh, predetermined uh, percentages for specific services. As for customization, we can see that these competitors, uh, most of them don't have any customization and only property cleaning experts does. And OC Exterior Solutions, of course, has a high customization through the custom pricing model that we have. Looking into our market opportunity, we're using two different industries. We're looking at the US pressure washing market, which is valued at 1.2 billion in 2022. And it has a compound annual growth rate estimated to be about 3.5% for the next five years. Then we look at the property lighting market, which is valued at 2.6 billion in 2022. 
and that has a compound annual growth rate of 6.3% for the next five years. Combining these two industries, we get a total addressable market of 3.8 billion in the US. Then considering the 12% population of the US that resides in California, we apply that to the industries and see a serviceable available market in California of 450 million. For the serviceable obtainable market in Orange County, we've used a conservative estimate of 0.5% market capture in California, which equates to 2.25 million in five years. As for the market composition, we've been able to use 949 pressure washes data from 2022 through 2024 to estimate the composition of the market using three types of customers and their yearly average revenue. The three types of customers are one, customers that only get pressure washing, which make up about 55% of the market. Two, customers that only get lighting services, which make up 20% of the market. And three, customers that are hybrid, which use both services and make up 25% of the market based off 949 pressure washes, previous customers. And then these customers have different averages per their tickets. Uh, the highest ticket sale is from hybrid services, averaging about 1,500. Uh, only customers receiving only pressure washing services re uh, spend an average about a thousand, and customers only receiving lighting services spend an average about seven hundred and fifty dollars. Looking at our competitor strategy, current competitors rely on industry rates to set quotes, rather than building their own unique systems to automate pricing and increase customization options for their customers. So we stand out from our competition in two main ways. The stable pricing that we've mentioned, which is through the custom bidding and selling software that we have. And that creates instant quotes with rules that automate pricing based on conditions in customization. OC Exterior solution, uh, Services it, Solutions is also able to optimize the fluctuation in business volumes for the opposite seasonalities of pressure washing and property lighting. Customers benefit from this optimization by being able to book early and book us throughout the year. Second, our custom service packages. Customers are able to build their unique service packages that incorporate pressure washing and property lighting to adjust for their property's unique changing needs. Jumping to one of our pricing examples, we are all about instant quotes, stable pricing and custom packages to customers. Each one, of, each one offers a different level of customization. The top row has a standard industry price of $0.45 cents per square foot. Then moving on to the second package, it's at 53 Package 3 offers it at 63 And each package has a different level of customization based on the square footage of the home, the property size, and what needs to be done in each service. Each uh, The customer has access to input all of these, all of this information into our website and this software will provide them with an accurate quote based on all the information that they put and going based off of the industry standard. Perfect. So our go-to-market strategy is made up of three main parts, our rebranding process, our active referrals and CRM, and our digital advertising. So with rebranding process, uh, 949 Pressure Wash's current customer base of over 200 customers will be transferred to OC Exterior Solutions in the following months. With our active referrals and customer relationship management, the current pricing software that we utilize has built-in capabilities to track referral information, as well as also track customer relationship management data. And then for our digital advertising, our previous marketing spend, which was 12,000, will be targeting a 40% increase in 2025 for OC Exterior Solutions to launch and prepare with a marketing agency. Edgar? Established in two, established two years ago, 949 Pressure Wash has serviced over 200 properties. Most of the current customers are within a 15 to 25 minute drive. In 2023, we generated over 76,000 in gross revenue and initiated the process of creating an LLC and bank accounts, expecting a $25,000 loan to assist with the rebranding re costs. Um, our future milestone consists of commercial contracts with the Mission Viejo Hospital and local property management companies. Uh, 
looking at our revenue model and financial projections. As mentioned before, pressure washing customers make up 55% of the market, property lighting customers make up 20%, and hybrid customers make up 25 Using this, we can set a target of 2,200 customers, which equals that serviceable obtainable market that I mentioned of 2.25 million. And this leads us to targeting about 1,240 pressure washing customers that average about 1,000 per year, 600 customers that only receive lighting at 750 average per year, and 375 hybrid customers. Five minute warning. Thank you. 375 hybrid customers at 1,500 average per year. Looking at our pro forma income statement, we can see here our sales uh, beginning pretty slowly. And this is using the past data that Edgar had in 2023 for uh, nine for pressure wash. And continuing there, we can see that we see the first large amount of growth from 2024 to 25. And from that, it doubles. And this is because our marketing spend is doubling as we look to hire employees and increase our investments in equipment. Our pro forma cash flow statement charts are right here. We can see the operating cash flows, which follow the plan that we have as we slowly begin to hire employees in the beginning and then aggressively invest into equipment later on. And one thing I just wanna mention here is the financing cash flows here. Uh, we can see here the $15,000 of the bootstrapped uh, cash that we will need this year, followed by the $25,000 non-dilutive loan next year before we begin to look at business loans in later years. Our pro forma balance sheet stays the same. It shows that slow growth in the beginning that accelerates during 2026, 2027 and reaches our target serviceable attainable market in 2029. The total funding for your three minutes remain. Thank you. Thank you. Funding required the funding would be total of forty thousand dollars. Year zero, um, year one is a twenty five thousand dollar non dilutive loan at for twenty twenty five. Uh, year three, we would require a fifty thousand dollar loan for business loan and aggr and aggressively target our digital marketing procedures to generate more leads. Same for year four and year five, we would use that $100,000 loan to really expand into new territories, possibly outside of California, targeting Nevada. Thank you both so much. That is the end of our presentation. Thank you. I'll keep the recording going for Q and A, and then I'll stop it after that. And I just started the ten minute timer as well. Okay. Should I stop sharing my screen? Or yeah, you can stop sharing your screen. Yeah. And I'll take away the highlights. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. We can start with questions. Yes, absolutely. I have some questions. Um, for the lighting market, it's something that I've never like heard of and thought about, and I wasn't exactly sure reading. Uh, can you like just kind of elaborate a little bit more on what, what exactly lighting market your company is is targeting and kind of i i figured out how it ends up in this kind of calendar year you know there are certain times where it's more um i'm, I'm sure more uh more desired but uh yeah could we could you just go over a little bit of what you know that part of it is of course of course so for the lighting section of the business we it's it's more of an upsell which we noticed that we could really bring in that extra revenue at no extra cost in marketing just because those type of customers that spend money on pressure washing services are more likely to uh, have holiday lighting requirements um we also do trees for an example of that two weeks ago we went into a patio 
and did some Bristol lighting over a pool deck. Um, that customer came through our pressure washing from a pressure washing inquiry. So we upsold her on the lighting for that service. Perfect. Thanks, Hector. Yeah. Uh, I've got a couple questions. This is Kelly. Um, well done, you guys. It was a, it's a good presentation. Um, so kind of digging into the data a little bit just to help me understand better. Um, so there was, there's a statement made in the, in the plan that there was a, um, a pricing structure change, I think maybe last year that was noted as, um, providing extra value, um, post that change to the customers. Was there any specific data acquired or something that was tracked from kind of a leading and lagging indicator standpoint that actually showed, hey, after the, we had some, there was some level of, of customer uh, content with the pricing model that improved after the change? Or is it, is it sort of an anecdotal um, expression of satisfaction once the pricing model changed? I believe, I believe that. That information came through surveying customers, so it's more qualitative. Um, and that was through Edgar surveying his customers through phone calls, emailing. Um, so I would say that's just more based on the feelings and emotions of the customers that Edgar was able to gather through phone calls and, yeah. Very yeah. good. Um, and then follow up on that question, if you don't mind. So um, in the value proposition, it was noted there was a 15% reduction in total cost to the customer um, after the after the pricing structure change. So was that a 15% reduction compared to the previous pricing model? Or is that a 15% reduction compared to kind of the overall industry standard pricing? It's compared to the overall industry standard. Um, Using our custom pricing model that we have, Edgar is able to estimate that his services cost 15%, um, can save customers a 15% average rate for their services. Um, but specifically within Edgar's company, um, I know that his average ticket prices for pressure washing cost about 1000 and lighting cost about 750 So that total is about 1750 with those two separated services, if they were to do them separate. But if they were to be a hybrid customer and combine them, their average ticket goes down to 1500, which is about that 15% reduction. Okay. And any idea, of, and it's totally fine if, if the data is not available, but any idea how that, what percent reduction was experienced within the pricing model of the existing company? So after there, after this, was it about a 15% reduction? Was the pricing model changed or was it more or less just kind of curious where, where that fell for this business particularly? Edgar, what do you think? Uh, if, if there was a, uh, increase in the average ticket price by using the stable pricing software, um, we did notice that we were actually able to up, up, obtain more customers through, um, marketing the separate service to them. Okay. Uh, and one last question, if you don't mind, um, again, kind of on the data. So on the competitive matrix that was shown, it was that with the um, you had your competitors listed in kind of an X, Y matrix and um, stable pricing was one of the inputs to that matrix. And there was a difference between low and yes. So the competitors were noted as uh, like none or, or no, and then low, and then um, OC exteriors was noted as yes. Just real briefly, kind of what's the difference between low and yes? Um, the yes in OC exterior solutions should have been a high because um, it matches that. Um, the category right under where it says high and it's highlighted, that should have been copy and pasted to the yes. Oh, got it. Okay. Appreciate yeah. it. I just wasn't sure if that was... There was something I needed to understand better there. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. That's all my questions. Cell error. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Hey, Go ahead. Of course. Uh, so great job. Uh, sounds like you guys have done a lot of research and, and identifying the market and their needs. 
I'm curious in your um, business plan, there was a mention of increasing um, the commercial side of the business. Yes. Is your expectation that commercial clients would also have lighting needs like residential or do you anticipate that being uh, more toward the pressure washing side? No, so there will definitely be opportunity in the commercial lighting aspect as well, just because um, it's an easy upsell. Uh, once they know that that's a service that we provide, most of the time those companies uh, like to provide a decorative um, environment during the holidays or for any special occasions. So um, it is a, a for the commercial side, it is um, reachable. Well said. And have, are you guys familiar with jelly lighting? Jelly lighting. Uh, jellyfish lighting? I am not. No. Okay. I was just curious if uh, you've heard of it. It's a, a, a home lighting solution offered directly to residential owners um, so that they can basically put up the lights once and then have um, an electronic means of changing the colors and the patterns yeah. and everything per season. Yeah, um, might be something to look into in terms of competition, whether or not people really are using that that much to take away your, yeah. your, your it's, service. It's, it sounds like that's more of a permanent lighting, which there is a different uh, market for that service. Um, right. We don't consider them competition just because they are targeting a whole different uh, customer base and a whole different market. Some some commercial properties won't allow permanent lighting year round. Uh, therefore, their market is only capped at uh, mostly for residential. Thank you. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Any more questions? I was going to add in a comment real quick. Um, just when I was looking through finances, you know, I think you guys have a really good idea on like the market and and who you're targeting. One thing that I, um, you know, I went through this uh this competition eight years ago and stuff so one thing i think it's really easy to forget on on finance is covering things like legal so insurance costs um those are really important to add in uh especially because i'm thinking property and you need to be um you know make sure you just have those kind of their you know checkbox things to cover in finance but um definitely especially as you grow out in lighting people are climbing up things you know it, it's worth it just to make sure you have something in there to pad yourself on the finance side um, okay. for, you know, covering legal fees as you start dealing with higher property values, more, uh, have more employees working on it. Um, so just something to kind of keep in mind. Yeah, Thank you. Definitely. we have acquired a uh, an insurance broker out of San Diego who actually just renewed our $2 million um, insurance, $2,000 million insurance policy. And for that, we are paying close to $1,800 a year. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Nice. Great job, job guys. Um, oh, your and slides I, are... I do, I do oh. apologize. The 10-minute timer has gone off and question and answers is over. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Julian. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate your time today. Thank you appreciate very much. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. All right. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye-bye.